Good day, today I will be painting the guards of the fountain court model. I will use standard techniques and standard colors. I will start with the barbarian flesh color as it would be difficult to reach certain areas of the model face later on. This step is to apply the black color. I use the necromancer cloak color because it is a dark gray. It is used on large areas such as the shield, cloak, tabard, gloves, and so on. In this step, I will be using the contrasting color Apothecary White on the white parts of the model, specifically on the lower tabard. This color will give a subtle grayish tone, which I will then highlight with white paint. Now I will be painting the metallic parts of the model. Metallic colors are usually left for the end because their particles can contaminate other colors. I will apply this color to all the metallic parts of the model, such as the shield, helmet, breastplate, spearhead, and so on.
Now it's time for the brown color. There aren't many things to paint with brown, just the spear and the belt. It's time to paint the golden elements, such as decorations. According to the reference, the model has a golden trim on the tunic, helmet, and armor edges. I have decided to paint the tree on the shield in gold as well to give these elite models a distinct look. Now I will use a wash color to shade the facial features and the gold. The wash will add a reddish tone to enhance the shadows and depth of the face and give the gold a warm hue. I am returning to the white color, which I will highlight using the contrast white paint. I will also apply some this color on the feathers on the helmet to bring out its details. It's time to use the black wash. I will apply it to all the metallic surfaces and black painted areas. The brown wash will be used on the wooden spears and belt. Now comes the highlighting step. 
I will prepare the gold color again and try to bring out the golden elements that I painted before applying the wash. I will use the same technique for highlighting the metallic color as well. The same process applies to the white color for which I have chosen a smaller brush for better control. I have also decided to paint the eyes, although this step is not necessary as they are not visible in the final photos. The same process applies when applying the black color. I will use the brown color and apply it to the spears. In this step, I return to the contrasting white color. I will use it as a shade and apply it to the edges between the golden trims and the white tabard. As a base for the model, I will use a pre-made 3D print for the base. After printing the base, I simply dry brushed it with various shades of grey. I will apply grass and red flowers to the edges of the base where there are no cobblestone tiles. I will use PVA glue as an adhesive.
In this step, I have decided to add the eyes to the model. I will start with white paint for the scara and then proceed with black paint for the pupil. It is a very small area to work on. Final presentation of the completed model. I have outlined the edges of the base with black paint. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed and maybe even learned something. Have a great rest of the day.